Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Plays. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. And today we are going to go back to something that we mentioned before, and that to do a bit of dueling. And joining me today is Jacob. Hey, everybody. How are you doing, man? Ooh, fine, but I'm a bit tired because I just got back from uh, the meet we have. Oh, still the... want to go? A tiki event. So, uh, this was a tiki. Uh, so sounds um, exotic. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, e exotic. Tropical. tropical. Yes, thank you. So, it sounds tropical. Yeah. <laughs> I, I live in a tropical setting and I forgot that word. What the hell? <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. So, anywho, um, JK and I, um, we talked about it before and just. This week, uh, we managed to get things running, and today we are going to play some Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, specifically with the original starter decks. <laughs> oh boy! So before we officially start, Jacob, what are we running here? What what what, what program are we using here? Well, uh, this is Project Ignis. It's basically running uh, last up to date cards, and it's got it's in design so you can play with different different rules so uh -huh. you can basically play uh, as a current format or the ac uh, ocg format or you can just play uh, the goat the one that's uh, will basically use cards that were uh, released up to to t april 2005 uh, all right, all right. so basically um it's a more well versed version of uh, Duel Links. So yeah, that, basically. And also, it has a lot of options that you can do and whatnot, and the cards are always available, right? Yeah. So, um, another question I think people might ask us is why didn't we use Duel Links? Why, Jacob? Because I don't play Yu Gi Oh anymore, so I, I, my sites are not on uh, any Yu Gi Oh products. So, um, why? <laughs> I don't know, this just feels like, uh, I don't know, it's better to use and you don't have to go through Steam or anything like that. Mm, all right, all right. Oh, also, I, I think the most, uh, sorry, I, I think the part that um, we're specifically looking is to get those specific cards for that specific deck. And I think Dual Links, to get those specific set of cards is going to take us time. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure how Duel Link works, but from what I understand, it's a free-to-play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel um, arena where you can duel other people like what we're going to do and um, collect cards, something like that. Honestly, I don't remember playing Duel Links. Maybe I did once, but I had to. I didn't really have cards necessary. I, it was one of those where you have to play the game so you could get packs and get new cards. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. This From is what? keeping the myth. Yeah, yeah. This is just keeping the whole collecting cards and just getting to the good part. Yeah. All right. So um, I think I'm ready. So I click that. And what do I do? Oh, okay, cool. So, all right. So, Let's this see. is just basically us uh, looking at the game, complaining about things, and so on. Because, um, how to say this? Uh, the 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 older set of cards are not good. <laughs> yeah, that's a given, pretty much. Yeah. All so, right. Let's see. All right. Go ahead, man. So while you do while while you're thinking, I'm gonna talk about this deck specifically or the earlier set of cards, because um back in the days when you started playing Yu-Gi-Oh, uh the deck itself were just a mishmash of cards that were just there. I guess it, it wasn't really strong. It wasn't really um anything. It was just something available for people to play. 
and not really understand the rules and whatnot. Yeah. And as you, as you notice to this deck, you quickly notice that there's already been some sort of power creep going on because, well, uh, uh, the OCG came out like years before uh, this game came out in uh, in English, in any form, the TCG format. So you notice that there's quite a lot of cards that are like 600, 500 attack points or something. And they're just normal monsters that are like level 3 or something. Or... Mm, yeah, and also, uh, my, my starting hand is crap, right, by the way. So I, I'm looking at a lot of stuff and Okay, I'm facing down a 1900 beat stick, and that's already troubling on my end, even though the defense is what? Nah, 800? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that, that, that's going to be a challenge. So, anyway, um, I'm going to end the turn. So, a brief history on my end about playing Yu Gi Oh! was, um, <laughs> how to say this? Um, I think I told this in the previous um, story time. Oh, uh, telescope was this. Uh, see the top five cards of your opponent's deck. Oh, wow. They have... Okay, no, you, you can do it. Go ahead. So anyway, um, I, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the days when it was uh, this deck specifically. And it was okay. Um, But later on, I discovered that, oh, you need a lot of effect things to kind of play the game, uh, get better cards, and so on. I mean, it is a collectible card game. I get I get it that you need to buy packs to get good, uh, the pay-to-win thing. But the game back then was a lot different from today. And okay. uh, this deck specifically shows it. Anyway, uh, yeah. Jacob, you good? Yeah. The Feral Imps a pretty good uh, example. It's got like uh, 1,300 attack and 1,400 defense, and it's a level 4. <laughs> but in OCG standard, that's a good card. <laughs> oh, man. Um, honestly speaking, that's, that's, th those were... Oh, man. How, how do I put this? Uh, th those settings or those cards were way back in the olden days where uh, normal monsters were kind of everywhere and uh, effects were not really a thing? Well, yeah. There were some monsters, but they were like really sparse. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And, uh, man... You got that perfect start where your monster's strong. Yeah. You, you especially notice how important the equip cards are at this point in the game. Because, well, <laughs> what can I do to beat this right now? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of setup on my end that I need to do. But, oi. Um, yeah. Uh, all I can do right now is just play defense. Pretty much. Uh, yes, I would like to activate a trap card. So that negates the damage. And I, I, oh, yep. I'll do this because uh, my flip effect monster activates and I get to destroy a trap card. Yay. Yeah. Your turn. Yep. Oh, let's see. Oh, goody, goody. I, I got this Four, 14,050 card. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm going to summon. My cursed dragon! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to battle. I'm going to 
attack with my dragon to your big rock monster thingy. Alrighty then. Then I'll end the turn. So, what I'm noticing about the Yugi deck is that you have to be stupid lucky and you need to be and you need to play smart. Yeah. What's this? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! How good is the tables have turned? Oh no! God damn it! Uh, okay, okay, no, I, I got nothing for this. But yeah, um, it, it's all about strategy, like you mentioned before. And this makes sense. This makes sense. Yeah. Oh? Oh no! You too have your um, big giant monster. Hmm. Yeah. Oi. Alright. Your turn. What do I... God. I got nothing. <laughs> what do you mean you got enough and you got like five cards? Yeah, I got nothing. This is... <laughs> Uh, let me count stuff. But you don't even have a monster to set. I do, but it's going to die. <laughs> well, you're going to have to do it anyway. I know. You oh, God. You die faster. <laughs> I'll turn. God dang it. And I do notice that uh, the Yugi deck it's not, um, it's not a, it's not a forty card deck. It's uh, if I wasn't mistaken, it was a fifty card. card? Yeah. yeah, I, 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 I totally missed that fact because always in my head, uh, decks were always at what you call this, uh, a minimum of uh forty. So usually when we buy the structure deck, there was always forty cards. So having it at fifty, that was a big surprise on my end. Yeah, the the problem with having bigger decks is that well, you basically it takes longer to draw something good in comparison if you you have less cards to begin. Mm. But honestly speaking, uh, if you were to have a forty card deck, uh, you have uh, lesser cards to pull from the library or the deck. But at the same time, too, it'll be more streamlined, so you'll get stuff that you quote unquote need rather than uh, hope to get yeah, but also yeah. also there's the fact of you need to put three copies of something just to hope that you can pull it out yeah that too and this is especially a big problem with wait is it just starter decks or is it structure decks as well you basically only have one card of everything oh yeah that, that problem there too yeah um uh, I, I think they gotten better with uh newer structure decks, but um the decks nowadays they're better, but back in the days, uh the the two thousands, the two thousand and fives and whatnot, uh you kind of have to uh, get a tr tree of the structure decks just to have three copies of a certain card. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna be fun. Wait, what? Only on my end? It doesn't affect you? All green those broadcaster monsters came two hundred attack and defense. Oh and neither oh. of mine are one's a warrior and another is a beast. Oh okay, 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 my bad, because I was thinking um dark monsters. Oh okay. See, reading the card explains the card. Yes. Oh boy. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, um, I'm going to end the turn. Ay, ay, ay. Let me guess, you got reinforcements trap card, don't you? Nope. What's that? <laughs> I 
that's a wall? Yep. I think you made an oopsie, Norman. Nope. Yes. You know how attack and defense function. No, I forgot how to play this game. Shoot. <laughs> you defense only counts if you if you put it in defense mode. No, yeah. Oh, uh, no, it's <laughs> okay. That's why I that's why I said the few get reinforcements because that's the attack version of castle walls. Okay, okay, okay. I I'll explain my reasoning for why I did that and uh why I didn't think it was wrong because uh in magic <laughs> in magic is when you activate a sorry when you fight it's your uh attack versus their defense so i'm thinking okay 2000 versus my thing yeah i'll survive because mine's 2100 so that'll go true right <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, you get you get the uh, unlearn to think that the numbers on the right side are your life. So, no, uh, yes. no, d doing it this way is much more fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, let's let's do this. Oi. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's, let's go fight attack. Uh, so 2000, 2000 means we die both, right? <laughs> Unless you have something. Oh no, you you don't, you don't. Oh god, uh, this is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end the turn. Oh boy. Yeah. Ah, uh, the the deck sucks. Like, honestly speaking, this deck sucks. Rogue doll is the sixteen hundred. Yeah, now I'm getting more attack. Now this one's a spellcaster, so it gets more attack because of yeah. Wait, w uh, yeah, plus two. <gasps> yep. Oh, this deck sucks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. God damn it. Oh boy. I I I can see how power creep. Um. Does this game, yeah? Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah, but let's see what I can do here. Mm -hmm. All right, nine hundred left. Let's see if I can do a comeback. <laughs> give, me a duck. give me a duck. Give me a duck. I gotta set a card down. And I'm gonna end turn. <laughs> Stop, man. There, I ask why, what you got there. Uh, it's just junk. I think it's what uh removal uh tra removal trap. <laughs> oh boy! What did you have in hand? Uh, dark magician and the dragon. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'll go first. Oh, goody. Goody, ay ay ay. <clears throat> okay, so playing this deck or oh, playing the deck uh it requires oh I no I don't draw my first turn, right? So what do I do now? Well, you 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 play as far as I know. Mean one, okay, so um well shuffle hand I guess, okay. So what do I do now? End the turn. I don't get to. Oh yes, this is this a stupid level card. All right, okay. Uh, reading the card. Okay, now I'll end the turn. As Kaiba would say, I summon my faithful servant, Lejin, the mystical genie of the land. Oh God! Oh God! This hand sucks now. Shoot. Yeah, this is where you discover how bad the power creep becomes with Kaiba when you've got this. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a vanilla monster, and it's, what, at 1800? 1700 is also considered strong for uh the matchup. Yeah. This this is, like, one of the strongest level 4 monsters you can have. 
at this time, yes, because uh, oh. as time goes on, uh, there's a 1900 beat stick, which is considered strong too. But we're not yeah. talking about that guy anytime soon. That guy? Don't you mean those girls? No, I'm talking about uh, Kaiba's vicious something with the, the guy with the axe on the head. Oh, Wall Street. Yeah, Wall Street. Yeah, that guy. There's a girl. The girl is uh, Gemini Twins, Gemini, right? Well. Yeah. All right, it's still my turn. Uh, yep, yep, your turn. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh no, I'm noticing another bad thing. My face is covering my cards. Give it a second to move that. There we go. Yay, now people can see uh, what shit I have. <laughs> I'm gonna set this hard face down and I'm gonna end the turn. I'm sad. Yeah, sorry about that. It's but okay. It's okay. Out. It's okay. It's the luck of the draw. As Yugi would say, I did not believe in the heart of the cards. Wow! Okay. Aha! My mystical elf helped me. Okay, uh, wow. <sighs> All right, okay, let's see, let's see. Um, I could do this one and, you know, I'm going to try and do this first. All right, I'm going to activate the spell. Checking out what you have down there. It is a oh. Mmm. Mm, that bad. Yeah, I, I know we destroyed one monster, but don't ask this card is so lame. Basically you're paying three cards to destroy one monster your opponent has. Uh no, it's it's technically select two to destroy one so basically you're sacrificing two to destroy one of mine but the scenario here is you have more monsters than me so this card is technically a good card for you right now because even yeah. if i were to tribute or summon um something let's just say um curse dragon let's just say that uh if i were to summon curse dragon on the field even if i beat down your monsters you have two and Depending on how many monsters you have, uh, you technically have the advantage unless you don't want to use it. Yeah. And also, I prefer not to use it because, as far as I'm concerned, Legion is like really good at the moment. Yeah, that's true. I really don't true. want to sacrifice that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know what the face down card is uh, for your monsters. So, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to uh, go for my game plan and let's do this, even knowing that that's there. So I have a uh, summon skull and summon skull is going to hold a sword and it's the sword of the dis uh, sword of dark destruction. Equip it to summon skull, giving it um, 2900. So it is a strong beat stick. Yeah. So going to battle and summon skull is going to attack your djinn. So right now you can, oh, you're going to take it. All right. I mean, two. And I'm going to end the turn. Oh, that was surprising. I would have thought that you would activate your trap card. You'll see why I didn't. Ah. Poop. <laughs> uh, hmm. Go mm. soccer is bad. Hmm. Uh, hold on, let me just do something here. Uh, no, man, don't be mad. Um, give me a thing, 
Yeah, yeah, give us like a second. I, I, I want to mute myself here so I can talk to the audience at home. <laughs> okay. My card sucks. What the fuck? I got Summon Skull that's a level 6. I need to have one tribute. I got this guy, Guy of the Fierce Knight. It's a level 7. I need to have two tributes. I got this jerk who's a level 6. And I need, sorry, 5. I need to have one tribute. And I have Dark Magician, which is two tributes. How do I even play with this hand? Ah, oh, hello. I'm back. There I is what that was. You'll soon see when you see the replay. <laughs> God damn it, no! Wait, hold. <laughs> Alright, I just remembered I put it back into your can. Shit. Yes. Also, you get the gin. God damn it. Hmm. Uh, no I block. forgot that I put the Sullen Skull back into your can instead of the graveyard. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yep. Yeah. Can you win any, in, anything with this right now? Uh, I mean, I need to have a dark hole. I, I need to have a dark hole on. But I don't I don't have that right now, so I'm just going to set this one card down and hope for the best. <laughs> I mean, what, what can possibly save you at this point? Um, may need a bug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Except it's not this. Yep. Oh man. Well, one of the dumbest things right, I noticed is like, okay, uh, the Yugi deck wants to put key Yugi cards in, I understand that, but they didn't even put Kuribo in. Yeah, because Kuribo is a super rare card. <laughs> Dude, um, um, mm, 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 I, I am. <laughs> but, yes, so would we, I. <laughs> I. I'm just thinking, like, it's. It's a Yugi deck. Give Yugi his Yugi stuff. If you don't give Yugi his Yugi stuff, what is he going to play? And Yu-Gi-Oh is... Sorry, and you, Kuribo is there from the beginning, right? No? Yeah. I, I don't remember. Oh, boy. Hold on, let me check. We don't rematch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Let's go first. Even though I lost the... Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. you want to know what's fun? Everything in my hand is spells. Spells Beautiful. and traps. Mm. Yes, it's the total opposite of what happened just now. Mm. Great. <laughs> uh, this, what's this? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put this one face down and hope for the best. I end my turn. Oh, boy. I'm I'm noticing a few things with old Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, there's certain cards that exist that were just there to kind of quote unquote be smart and try to outmatch the other person. Like this thing. Like why yeah. would you put this one in? So you can have information on your opponent's set cards. Uh, yeah, pretty much for the same reason that Agent Telescope exists. I mean, if it's a spell card, then I understand. But monsters? I mean... Eh? Uh, <laughs> you got anything to sacrifice, I think you have me this time. <laughs> I think I may have you beat, but we'll see. Oh. Each time when your opponent normal summons or flip summons a monster, increase your life by five. Ah, oh, okay, that's fascinating. That's okay, that's cool. So, should I... Yep, you know what, I'm going to switch to attack. And go back to swing with this thing here. And see, alright. 
with this guy going in. All right, and I'm going to end the turn. Oh, clown. Mr. Clown. Also, another thing I'm noticing is that um, having utility cards like spells and traps are stupid important. Of course they are, because here at the, at the start, like every single hundred attack points matters, because most have such low attack. That's why it's especially you screw your opponents or if you got reinforcements or castle walls. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Those those cards like um like in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, those kind of cards like even what um that's how I played, sort of the dark destruction, uh, those kind of cards will be considered dumb in the newer formats. Well, yeah, because mo most of the cards that you have in the current format are basically all monsters that have effects. You don't really have any normal monsters at all. Yeah, that, that's also true. So anyway, I'm going to activate um, my spell card, Fisher, to destroy your monster. And I'm going to go in for the kill. Yeah. Look at that 1500 attack. It's going to take me a few turns, but yeah, I'll manage. Woo! Uh, then you face a blue ice white dragon, um, uh, ritual card deck, and boy, would that hit you in one turn? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go, Beaver Warrior. <laughs> yeah, Beaver Warrior, you you're the man. <laughs> boy. What do you have? What do you have? Oh no! I took 50 damage! <laughs> okay. I'll set the trap card face down and I'll end my turn. <laughs> oh boy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what could it possibly be? Yes, I wonder. Oh man, I I I don't study this, uh, the deck matchup, so I got no idea what the hell face down. So let's find out. I knew a bigger wall. Oh no! This ah, wow, for a level six monster with that stat, especially the two thousand defense. Like I just play mystical elf who has two hundred attack, but the defense of. 2000 like you can clearly tell it's not balanced at all yeah and then you got someone score that's also level 6 but it's got 250 yeah I know it, 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 it's just dumb mm. but I do see why the um that's are like that Uh, yes, I would like to activate this card. Oh, well, now you got it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, man. The, my luck is terrible today. I, I ain't getting good stuff. Well, we are playing with some of the worst decks that exist. So. <laughs> oh, man. You know, oh, God, that that's wrong. Um, you, you want to know something funny, right? Um, even though, uh, sorry, this is the American version, but in the Japanese version of the quote-unquote starter decks, what's this? Uh, starter decks, there's uh, essentially what? <laughs> Yugi Kaiba, Joey, and also Pegasus. Uh, starter or structure decks, I don't remember, but those uh, those uh, decks exist, and 
they were pretty cool if I wasn't mistaken. The the Japanese. Hmm. Yes. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, in those decks, um, it's similar to this, but they added cool stuff like Yugi has his Kuri bows and whatnot. And it was it was fun. It was a fun deck, but it was really basic. Boy, how do I even do this? I don't have enough. <sighs> uh, do I? Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try something dumb. All right. Uh, the Celtic Guardian, and I'm gonna play my spell card, the Dark Hole. Then Why? I'm going to, and then I'm gonna activate my card, Last Will. Oh, so I'm gonna tutor for something that can. Well, uh, let's see. Okay, um, that's the potential. No. No. No, what's this? Okay. Okay, no. No. Eh, no. Ah, no. Oh, really? Now, this is just the... This is the one... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, whatever. Let's go. I'm gonna equip it with my... Sword, yeah. I'm then gonna swing in with my monster, yeah. Awesomeness. Unless you okay, unless you got curry bow in your hand. <laughs> oh, what are you boy. taking for, Yugi? <laughs> oh, my deck doesn't have useless cards. <laughs> oh, what was that meme again? Oh god. Oh, mm, yes, awesomeness. Master and expert. What? I don't know. It just says master and expert. I'm just reading the card name. Even the card name doesn't make sense. I guess I'll just set a card face down and end the turn. Yep, let, let's let's do this. You activated my trap card, the dark hole. The trap hole, I mean. Well, at least that's out of the way. I just need to draw one card, and you're screwed. I, I just need to draw my monsters. Like, god damn it, this. I can see why. Okay, I mean, some of the monsters that are in the deck, I get it because it's similar to what Yugi had. But in all honesty, no. <sighs> okay, for me to improve this deck, right? Like just uh, theory crafting to improve this deck, I would have to rework the deck mechanics. I need just to rework everything just to make this deck viable or work. Just toss the monsters that can like so little attack out like for about ten reduces. I mean, first things first, remove remove ten cards, make it a forty card deck, and then uh streamline things because there's a lot of things here that doesn't really make sense. Uh, if I were to play it, I'll put maybe two or three trap holes inside the deck. Um, did did Fisher came out? I think Fisher came out, right? Yeah, Fisher. Oh. I, I'll I'll put one one or two, two or three Fishers. Oh yeah. Yeah, and, and I'll I'll do a lot of more. Uh, it depends. Like if I want to go aggressive, I'll put in more uh, power up cards, and so on. But it, like me talking about it right now feels a bit dumb because of the format, because the way that things are going now. They're stupid fast. Like you, you, you don't really understand things. What are things doing? Like why does this even exist? Yeah. 
Jacob, still your turn. Alright. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, if it were me, like, uh, pick, the, okay, put Dark Magician out, put Summon Skull out, like, uh, those cards are staples, don't remove them, uh, and then, like, just work around stuff. Like, cards like Gaia the Fierce Knight and Curse Dragon, they're Yugi's card, but technically they're not really useful. Without full immersion. Yeah, like, even if you, even with, even with that, like, you don't have a consistent way of getting it. Yeah, that's too. Like, without a consistent way of getting poly, there's no point. And, like, just to get a vanilla fusion monster, the best thing I can imagine is just getting it for, um, Hmm. 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 No, I got nothing on this one, man. Hi. Okay, let's do this. And I gain a thousand life point. Yay! I'll survive a few more turns. Woohoo! <clears throat> hmm. Let's see if I have anything. Because if I do, I may have a way out. What you got? Uh, no. Okay. Here we go. Ah, just a guess. Mm hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> One turn. <gasps> yep. Ah, oh, man. Gotta be kidding me. Alright, let, let's see let's see what I can do here. Wait, what? Ah oh, god. Did what I not did you, I, I wanted to activate the card, not set the card, but you know what? All good as long as I can uh survive this. <laughs> yep, thought so. Fuck. You want to know what I put down just now? What? Remove trap. <laughs> it would have been perfect, right? <laughs> ah. There's a remove trap on the re remove uh, phase up tra uh, trap guard. Oh god, yeah, that's even more dumb. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I guess there's enough content. <laughs> I guess. Unless yeah. you want to play Ghost for a match. For a match. Um, what's that? What's that? Basically, you create a deck from the cards that exist uh, the, up to, to uh, hold on. April 2005. Hmm. I don't think I have a deck with that. Yeah, no. Investigate has to be build it yourself. Yeah, but um, so uh, in conclusion, I guess um, Jacob, what what do you think? Do I really have to say anything? Like the starter decks really weren't good in any way. There's there's already too much power creep going on with monsters that are like level four and have over sixteen hundred attack points, and well, some of the cards that you have are like level three one thousand normals that don't really amount to anything, and you don't have that much uh, monster destruction abilities except the uh, Fisher and Dark Folk. 
Yeah, that, that, that is true. You don't even get Raigeki, but I understand Raigeki is a quote-unquote power card. Like, uh, in magic terms, it's quote-unquote the power nine. So, yeah. But, yeah, man, like, even if, how do I put this? Like, that last game we had, like, oh, uh, I, I went first. I went hard. I went in powerful. I, I just went in. And with with my board wipe, you just came in with a monster and I got a stupid Gaia Knight. Like, oh, is a 2-3 beat stick with two tributes? Okay, I, I'm not getting that. I, I'm not playing this. Like, wait, what? Yeah, pretty much. Gaia's got like, uh, only one monster that he needs to monster to tribute and the other ones that he has like uh, he has four monsters that he only needs to tribute to one meanwhile the rest are like between the highest are like one two, three, four, five. is that like five monsters that monsters that have over 1500 yeah, and even like just just looking at the deck, right? Uh, Yugi's deck here, uh, is a fifty card deck. Like uh, most of his quote unquote, uh, powerhouses are like, uh, the Wing Dragon, uh, Guardian of the Forest One, which is a fourteen hundred beat stick. Uh, you get the Celtic Guardian, which is a fourteen hundred beat stick. Uh. You get the Great White, which is a 1600. Wait, yay, that's awesome. Uh, and then you got Zombie Dragon, which defense sucks, but it's a 1600. And then when, when you go through, right, there's not much in terms of, I won't say value, but it, there's not much that you can do with this uh, card. Like, I, I'm looking through here, and effects monsters are just like, uh, three, four. Like, there's only four effect monsters in the deck, and uh, some of the good ones here are just many to bug. Which, when you flip, you get to destroy a monster, which is a uh, creature removal. Uh, trap master is I'll consider it good because you get to remove a uh trap, trap card. Yeah, you get to remove a trap card on the opponent side of the field, but that's not even good at all because what happens if it's not a trap card? You get to see what they have, but other than that, there's nothing. Well, in most cases, it's more likely going to be a trap card unless your opponent is trying to bait you to using it. But that's a bit unlikely. I mean, probably, right? Like, uh, I'm looking here and I'm seeing a lot of spells rather than traps because the number of trap cards here I can count is like one, two, three, four, five, eight, eight trap cards out of 50 a 50 card deck so that means like the chances of me me putting down a face uh, down trap card is high Uh, for spell cards what spells are 29 20 sorry uh, 13 13 spell cards so 13 spell cards and most of them are kind of not too good like you have a trap removal uh, you have a field magic card you have uh, a card that re- uh, reshuffles your hand. Uh, you have a card that allows you to use an opponent's monsters as a tribute. And on and on. In the, in the end, there's nothing really awesome about this deck. Honestly, I find it surprising that I haven't seen you use the card destruction, exchange of souls. And didn't card. came out. Didn't came out. Yeah. So uh, change of heart. Where... Yeah. This is what happens when you've got uh, more than 40 cards and some of them aren't uh, really good monsters to begin with. I, I know, right? You know what? I, I, got a, I want to try a theory. I want to remove 10 cards out of my library and see how the game goes. You know what? I go to. Yeah, you know what? Let's try. Let's try that because it should be an interesting match. Put them in the... The side, yeah, the sideboard, yeah. Uh, let's see. How how do I, um, I I want to sort my library by putting monsters. Um, I don't think I can. 
Damn Just it. the select sort button is going to... Oh, sort button. Thank you. That that works. Oh, sort by level. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> okay. You. Goodbye, Terra. You. You. Oh, wow. Like, I'm already... See okay, a few a few caveats. Uh, key cards that are character-specific. Uh, like Summon Skull, Dark Magician, cannot be removed. Uh, cards like you, you feel like you can. You know what? I'm not going to remove Gaia because Gaia is Yugi's quote unquote card. Uh, even though it's dumb, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it in because it's a character card. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. Now I need to remove ten useless cards. Oh God. Well, I, I've done with mine. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> well, I just tossed out monsters that have less than uh, 1,500 attack. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm, that, that's, that is simple. Mm, simple enough. Okay, yeah. so doing this. This guy goes. Goes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, Eever, you, you get out. You go. Oh man. Hmm. For Yugi, Yugi's deck is fascinating. Um, if you want to try and remove ten useless creatures, they're there. But thinking about, oh, is this creature a key character card or not? Hmm. Honestly, I just thought Gaia out if I were you. Gaia. All right. Uh, Ga Gaia's out. Because with the amount of uh, tributes you already have to deal with, the one that's weaker than summons call for two tributes is just not worth it, obviously. Oh, that is true, that is true. Uh, let's see, what's this, what's that, what's this, what's that. Uh, going back. Um... Okay, uh, I, I'll get rid of this one. I had to get rid of Wing Dragon. Guardian of the Forest because when you look at the setup that I have, him in the deck doesn't make sense. <laughs> and I'll and I'll explain why. Uh you have a field card that powers up Fiend and Spellcaster monsters. He is a dragon. Alright. Uh you have yeah. a spell card uh, equip spell card that equips spellcasters. He is a dragon. You have a equip to dark monsters only. He is Wind Elemental. All of the cards here doesn't make sense. Like, wait, what, why, who, what? Yeah. Even the Celtic Guardian. That card... Why? He doesn't make sense. Like... Because fantasy, I guess. I mean, Yugi uses it, I guess. But even with the base stat of 1400 and a defense of 1200 he doesn't really do anything because he doesn't get uh he he doesn't get benefit from the sword he doesn't get benefit from the spiel card he doesn't even get benefits from the uh spell book so he is technically nothing yeah well i i've done my thing so let, let's give it a try servers second I see you there still, unless uh oh no. I went out. I wonder if there's a Magic the Gathering thing like this because I would love to play Commander on this. Honestly, I don't know that. Okay, it's the same as the last time. All right, it goes join. Three, let's go. Woohoo! I'm already. Oh, I lose. So, we remove 10 quote unquote useless cards from our library to see how the game goes. Is it faster? Is it more streamlined? Is it better? Why do I have. Wait. 45? Didn't... Oh, God, Did I think I... 
Okay. I'm going to surrender because I didn't save. God damn. <laughs> Give me a second. No, no, no. Not there. Not there. Uh, you're gone. You're gone. It's a good thing that it's easy to remember what trash I put out. <laughs> uh, you're gone. Oh, boy. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Uh, you're gone. And you're gone. Ten cards. Uh, save. All right, now I'm good. <laughs> Boy, let's see. Okay. There we go. I'm already. So again, we start off. We, we remove ten cards, quote unquote, useless cards from our library to see how the game flows. Is it better? Is it worse? So we'll see how it goes. Oh. Huh, okay. This is a bad move, but let's try and see. Um. Mm. Yeah. Ah. One for one. Oh. This height. All right. Hmm. You don't want to know something, right? I, I'm noticing a lot of good cards coming out or a lot of cards that I haven't seen before coming out. Yeah, I see that's already an improvement compared to previous. Yeah, I mean, by removing 10 cards, you can already see how your deck, um, well, I won't say see, but you can see uh, more cards in your library. Okay, let's, let's fight. I'm going to beat you up. Here we go. And I'm going to go to main two and set a card. And end the turn. Yeah, it, it, it's fascinating that by removing 10 cards, you can already have a more streamlined game. Gonna set a monster into battle and no thank you, no. And gonna swing in for the kill. Oh. You're a little bit screwed right now. <laughs> Oh man, I, I, I'm guessing uh, you're facing what I'm facing before. Yeah, pretty much. Now you have to wonder, is the game engine being a dick? Why? Because like, oh, um, I had bad cards pool, you didn't. Now that we did this, I'm getting good cards and you're not. They're like, hmm. Makes you wonder. I don't know. Battle, declaring attack. Let's go, Zombie Dragon. Right, with with the Phantom. No, let's go. And the turn. 
I have three monsters on the field. That means I can summon a god card. Mm. Oh no! Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Am I thinking what you're thinking? Are you going to summon that thing? Oh no! Wait, what? Uh, it's why? Why did you? Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Now I understand. All right. Okay. I got those out of that jam. Unless you got an equip somewhere. Nah, I, I don't have an equip on me. But I do have a Fisher. <laughs> nah. Let's go. Witty Phantom. Beat his ass. He's not even a phantom. He's a fiend. A phantom fiend? Why not phantom thief? Uh -huh. Uh... Let's set this card. Let Let's activate this card. Uh, of course. Uh, all right. And let's activate this card. Well, shit. Where's my dark magician? God damn it. I was hoping for a dark magician. <laughs> uh, you know, okay, let's go. Let's go for the kill. Ooh. Hey, everybody, Norman won the first match. Yay. <laughs> Finally, after what, four, four fights? God dang it. Yeah, removing, removing 10 cards was, uh, was a game changer. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it makes the duel a bit faster and it makes uh, your card selection better. I mean, even if we were to tweak it with within the quote-unquote uh, limitations and set, we could have do better. Oh, burn spells. Yeah. That's about the only one. Mm. Uh, that's, that's not uh, I'm gonna end the turn I'm, I'm having crappy hands now Hmm. Let's try and see this. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Hmm. This spell. Huh. I can see why this spell is good, but, oh man, that claws of... Hmm. Okay, let's summon this guy in. Ah, trap hole. 
Mm. Taking it. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. Um. Oh. It. It works. Yeah. What? What? Oh. Yes, I will activate uh, and I'll put this guy in defense position and I'll end the turn. God damn it. Trap pull when your opponent's normal summons to summon a monster with. Yeah, it's a destroy cost, not a counter spell. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Let's set monster face down and end the turn. Can't do much. Nineteen hundred beat stick is strong. About seven zero. Wrong. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. This guy. This guy's Battlelog. Battlelog is a fun card too, but no, I got trap pulls. Okay. Let's. Normal summon my first dragon Oof. and go and fly in for the kill. Huzzah! And I'm gonna end my turn. Oh no, monster reborn. Oh no. God damn it. Yay. Oh, face down card. Uh, let's see. Do I risk it or do I not? Hmm. Let's see. You have three face down cards. I got a 2000 beat stick. Okay, I'm going to risk it. Mm. Not good, but at least it's something. So I'm gonna lay down my Neo the Magical Swordsman and uh, do I do this or do I not? Did you have Wabaku in your hands? No, I don't. No, no did you have it? Because I'm looking at your character. Oh, uh, yes, I, I did, I did. Should have said it. Yeah, but I wanted to pull three cards out of the library and I forgot it's a dark monster, not a spellcaster. God damn it. Reading the card explains the card. We trade. Oh boy. You know, the magic sword in front of the only guy in the level 4 monster that's got Kai at the deck. In, in Yugi's deck, yeah. Like, uh, and, and the downside is, it's not even a dark monster. 
Like, it's a light spellcaster monster, which spellcasting does work, but because I thought this was a spellcaster card, like what, the sort of dark, uh, dark destruction, it didn't work. So, like, okay, screw me then. Set this part down and go to battle. Sending my uh, Neo swinging in. I'm guessing that's a bad card. No. And I'll end the turn. Yeah, I'm. I'm already seeing. Uh, I'm already seeing stuff. I'm already um thinking of okay. Uh, the game really needs a way to get cards out faster. Um, probably things like uh draw draw cards and so on, uh, so that you can just draw the cards that you need out. Or like just just a draw card, like uh play the spell, draw card, something like that. Could you normal summon a monster on my turn? No. Oh. Don't care about anything else about the board. There we go. Battle. Attack with the attack with Neo. Then finish you off with oh no, just Celtic Guardian. There we go. Yay, Norman Morris. Yay. Yeah. No, sorry. Uh, that's right. that's the, uh... <laughs> There we go. Ooh, yeah. Oh god. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, there was a big improvement. Like, not saying... Okay, um, what, what do you think? Like, after removing 10, did you see better stuff? Not really? How was it? Because I feel like it's one-sided on my end. <laughs> yeah. Very one-sided because you started getting better cards and, well, I sort of started falling behind as I noticed. But at the same time, too, right? Sorry? In your deck. Sorry, what was it? Do you have ultimate offering in your deck? Ultimate offering? Um, Let me double check because uh, if it's there, it's there, I guess, because I didn't change anything. Uh, yeah, it's there. Um, I have it. So. Yeah, I, I'm just seeing, like. Uh, I, I, how do I put this? I won't say it's an unfair advantage or whatnot, but just looking at the game we had just now, like the theory, the theory stands that removing a few things does help the does help the deck um, move along faster and more streamlined. But at the same time, too, uh, your deck seems to be hurting. Yeah, which is strange because you just remove monsters, right? Yeah, I only remove monsters. And I also remove monsters. So technically that shouldn't really affect that much. Yeah, but something happened and I'm not sure how is that possible. But either the, either the heart of the cards was on your side or I did something off. Oh, I, I just say the game engine is really one-sided. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but overall, so Jacob, if you got first cards, then it's not really one sided. Unless I, I, you start. Uh, this is all Yu Gi Oh! Whoever starts first doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all Yu Gi Oh! New Yu Gi Oh! does matter. You start first, that means you have a high chance of winning. You start second, even higher chance. Especially if you got that bullshit card that. 
came out like a few years ago. <sighs> if, your, if your opponent has more cards on the field than you, then he can start to move uh, from the game mode the cards he has on the field. I think he's the same as you. Oh God, I don't know, man. Just found, just broke. hearing, just hearing that is already a nightmare. Oh God. But yeah, it's um, a, it's a card designed for uh, uh to prevent the flutters from wind cancel. Yeah, and then wait until it gets banned, restrict to one or banned. <laughs> uh. That's that's Yu-Gi-Oh power creep, man. Yeah. But overall, um, what do you think about the experience? Well, it was something. <laughs> I'll give you that. Mm. I can touch the, these guys like I I don't know how long it was. Twenty years. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at the cards here, and. The only card that I think I touch on a regular basis is Dark Magician. Like, have it in the deck? Yeah, Dark Magician's there. Maybe Monster Reborn. I'm not 100% sure. Because Monster Reborn is a card that got banned and then got unbanned. So many times. Uh, because it got unbanned because there's like other ways that you can summon specific, special summon specific monster from Gary. Yeah. Specific. Yeah, and also it's a bit slower now compared to the current meta game that we have, because um current meta game rulings are when you summon a when you use monster reborn you can only summon things that have been properly summoned before. Yeah. So there, there's a lot of uh rules update that they did just to make sure that the game is much more balanced now, and. Uh, Honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, Joey and uh, Pegasus started decks are completely different level than that of Yugi and Kaiba, that's for sure. Oh, you, you, you see the deck list? Yeah. I mean, Pegasus obviously, obviously got relinquished. Oh, God, that's already yeah. over the top card as is. Yeah, I mean, having that already, wow, yeah. Also, fusion with no, I think the second version of, uh, no, the Japanese version of this card for Yugi and Kaiba. Not 100% sure about Kaiba, but Yugi does have Poly inside. Does it? I think so, just because he wants to call out his fusion monsters. I think. Uh. I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember that. Uh, what start? No, that's a start. That. Uh, oh, going through the Yu Gi Oh wiki is gonna be nightmarish. <laughs> yeah, it already is. Yeah, because when you go in, it goes to the anime, not the card game. Oh crap! Well, it's got TCG and OCG. You can card time find this. Yu Gi Oh Evolution. Let me check this. Is the one that has it? It's not there. Oh, he's got pot of greetings. Who, Yugi or Kaiba? The, the Yugi in the evolution deck. Yeah, be much better. Yeah. And Pegasus uh, already has like uh, what was it? Graceful chair. So that's Even right. Yep. So you you can clearly tell. Oh boy. So you know what? Um, I'm I'm going to wrap things up because um, overall the game that we had was a lot of fun. It was fun going down memory lane and playing card games can be frustrating, but as long as you're having fun, then it's all good. But at the same time, too, when you're building a deck, make sure make sure things are balance out make sure things work well with each other don't put things that don't make sense like you put what neo the magical swordsman in the deck yeah it's a 1700 beat stick with a defense of a thousand which is great 
But when you take a look see at your support cards, like what? Uh, Swords of the Dark Destruction. That's a uh, card that only apl uh, applies to dark monsters. Uh, you got what? Okay, Book of Secret Arts. That's the only thing that can equip to it. Alright, that's good. And then you got Yami, which is... No. <sighs> no, not yeah. enough. Even on your end. Yeah, yeah, on my end, so there's not much better. Like, I got Dark Angel, which increases attack points of things, and I've got, like, what? Two, three, three things. Three things, really? Yeah, especially because <laughs> you hold on one, two, three. Yeah, because I already tossed three things out. Oh, they were just useless, yeah. Uh, spellcasters, like, just counting spellcasters on my end, you got one. Two, three, four, five. And then you got the field spell Sogan, which increases for warrior and beast warrior. So you got like one, two, three, four. Five, six. Yeah, like I got six. But yeah, it's still don't really, aren't really that strong. Yeah, I, I mean, technically, the the deck is just okay. I can hear people saying, "But guys, those decks are meant for beginners. Like they're super new. They're they're the jumping off point for people to come in and play the game. They're not meant to be good." I say no because. When you buy a product, you want that product to be good. You want it to be, how do I put this? Out of a scale of 1 to 10, you want that product to be a 6. Because you don't want to feel, you, you don't want your customer to feel like they've been cheated. So a 6 is a good point where it's strong, but not strong enough. So that's where you get them to buy the booster packs by singles so they can power up their decks. This year, honestly speaking, if I were to give it a one to, a, a scale of 1 to 10, this is probably a 3. Yeah, pretty much. Because it's not 100% useless because you do get some staples. Um, change of Heart, Dark Hole, um, what's this? Uh, Soul Exchange. Card Destruction, uh, Monster Reborn. Uh, those are quote-unquote staples. Uh, for creature removals, you've got Fissure, Trap Hole. Th those are pretty good. But the rest, they're trash. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but the Dark Magician technically has rotten stats. Its stats are terrible compared to um, its counterparts. Like, like fighting against the cover cards of Blue Eyes White Dragon, they have the almost the quote unquote the same stats where you need to sacrifice two monsters just to call this thing out. But because the Dark Magician has twenty five hundred versus twenty one hundred uh, versus your Blue Eyes, which is three thousand versus two five, was it? Yeah. Useless, unless you can force a way to. Sorry, unless the the, the um Yugi deck has a way to force the blue eyes to go into defense tap position nope well, ain't gonna happen well yeah that's why Yugi's deck has dragon capture jar solely for that but just the one yeah just the one thing to <laughs> good plan I mean instead of okay if I were to tweak this deck I would remove dragon capture jar because Here's the thing. I'll put in another fissure. Yeah. Remove Jargon Capture Jar, put in another fissure because technically uh, it aims for the lowest, no problem. And if Blue Eyes White Dragon is the only thing on board, fissure is just clearing it out. Yeah. 
for the added bonus, uh, blue eyes because then you get time coming on the field where you can just play Lord, Lord of Dragons and Foot of Summoning Dragon and you pop it on. But for the for that mission, you just have to go the long way. I mean, Dragon, uh, Lord of Lord of the uh, with Dragon Summoning Flute is a path, but at the same time too. Going for that route and having, yeah, man, like playing a dragon deck has a lot of caveats behind it. Like you need to have a lot of setup. Oy. Anyway, um, yeah, the original Yugi deck, I'll give it a three out of ten. It's not great, but it was something. What about your Kaiba deck? Like, what, what would you give it? Well, it started off with like a 5, but now I also have to go on 3 because it just shows how, well, not good it is when you actually have, have a bit more consistency to draw. Yeah, like, honestly speaking, um, looking at the set here, I, I know it's, how to put it, I know it's the times. The times say that, oh, um, we didn't think of this, we didn't do this, we didn't do that, blah, blah, blah. But honestly speaking, from playing a lot of Magic the Gathering, I've picked up on a few things. Um, one of those few things is you need to have uh, removals, you need to have board wipes, you need to have drawers, uh, draw engines, you need to have tutors, and you need to have a way to kind of a game plan so yeah draw, draw engines are things that allow you to draw more than once per turn uh, which i'm guessing Yu Gi Oh does have uh, spot removals like uh, find certain cards to remove things from the field hand or grave depending on what you're facing uh, board wipes basically just wipes the board clean off um, spells or monsters or even both so those are usually good um, game plans is usually what kind of deck are you building and does it mix well with everything you have I mean that's why I'm guessing you have staples now like uh, Mystical Space Typhoon is quote unquote a staple before uh, is it now or is it banned I forgot no Mystical Space Typhoon is uh, available yeah yeah so basically you need to put two or three of those in the deck because um, to get rid of uh, face down or face up spell cards, spell trap cards. But at the same time, too, the uh, the, the meta game is different nowadays. Yeah, completely. And I'm not fully familiar what uh, what it is, honestly. Yeah, I only play Magic, so I got no idea. Especially because there's so many different meta decks out there that. You use very specific cards to play the g in the game for the engines, and honestly, I'm not sure that there's any one card that anyone really has. I I think there's some like Max C is one of those I think, but yeah, one one of the few good things about Magic, sorry, um, Yu Gi nowadays is that there's multiple path to victory. You you don't really need to follow the trend. Like, there's A, B, and C kind of decks. So just pick one and see how it goes. But also, there's the Flavor of the Month deck where new booster set comes out, everybody's playing that set, everybody's trying to break the set and whatnot. So, eh, it's, it's one of those things, man. Yeah. Anyway, let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Jacob, where can the good people find you, man? Uh, you can find me on the DeviantArt under the username uh, Yakafon Torkad, under the Twitter username tells to the Ashes. If you're interested in reading the straight term rising, you can find it on filmfiction.net. And if you're interested in reading an original story featuring anthropomorphic animals in medieval fantasy setting called Tales of the Ashes, 
you can find it on the tales of the ashes.com well, come on some go do check it out guys and give me a second strip <laughs> I also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also stitch radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on ponyvlive.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MPS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I'm in Yakup. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. Bye bye. Right. Hold on. Yo. Don't you mean the uh... wait. You're gonna have to put that one later on in the end. It's right. time to duel. Oh no.